Hey everybody, Shoebox Legends here. Thanks for joining me for another video today. See a stack of penny sleeved cards in front of you and you probably know what that means if you've stopped by the channel here uh, with any frequency. We got some shine and vintage in here. That's right, it is another Com C rummage video. So picked a full 20 cards today uh, from prior Com C pickups and we're just going to review them and uh, talk about each of them quickly here. So here's a all-star game Chris Sale, and I didn't look it up before the video, but I believe this is an image variation, which is maybe why I picked that one up. Um, otherwise, don't think I would have grabbed a 2017 update base card for no reason on Com C. Uh, here's one that I believe I've shown before. I know I've, I've shown this parallel before, and I may have even shown this exact card. Pat Kane of the Chicago Blackhawks on the rainbow color wheel parallel out of Opeachy Platinum. Gorgeous cards that are available via EPAC and Com C promotion only, I believe. But a uh, really nice card there. Here's a soccer card, I think probably the lone soccer card in today's video. Virgil van Dijk for my favorite team, Liverpool, out of the second ever Topps Chrome UEFA Champions League Sapphire release. So I'm a Liverpool fan, I'm a Van Dyke fan, and I'm a Sapphire fan. So that one hit the trifecta for my personal collecting interests and was available for just like a dollar, a dollar fifty, somewhere in that range. A beautiful looking card, as all Sapphires are. Uh, next up, we got a Novechkin. This is the silver foil parallel of his base card from 2015. A uh, weird image here of him laying around. I think this was during like All-Star Game festivities. Um, but kind of a cool card because it is Connor McDavid's rookie year. Uh, so it's from that same set where the McDavid's uh, young gun is present. And uh, one of those silver parallels from Com C. So just a cheap and cool OV edition there. And speaking of those silver parallels, here's another one. Silver foil Leon Dreisaitl out of 2017 Upper Deck. Um, it's not, you know, a significant dry saddle card per se, but I love the coming off the ice celebration photo here, the nice orange oiler sweater, and of course the fact that it is that kind of chromium or foil cardstock. And again, I mean, the Ovechkin and the dry saddle were like 30 cents or 40 cents on Com C, which is just kind of crazy to me. Um, here's a shiny Yankees baseball card. This is headed straight for Grimace. The Purple Card Z Folio, Alfonso Soriano, member of the Hall of Very Good for the New York Yankees. And uh, I remember him as a minor league ball player in Connecticut for the Norwich Navigators way back in the day uh, when I was a kid going to minor league games. Had a pretty successful major league career as well, so couldn't pass that one up for a cheap coin for that Purple Z Folio. Uh, here's one for a set build. Been plotting my way through a 59 Topps baseball set, just slowly but surely with cheap pickups over the years, and have another one towards that end here with Gary Bell of the Cleveland Indians. Cool card there. Then here's a modern take on a player of yesteryear, Johnny Mize. New York Yankees, this is from Topps Marquee. It was a short-lived set. Um, these cards are a little bit thicker than your standard baseball card. Um, but really was a beautiful release with colorized photos of Hall of Fame players on a very simple and kind of elegant design. It had colored parallels and other things with it. Um, didn't last long. It might have even been a one and done. Don't hold me to that. But um, back in 2011, I was kind of you know, vacuuming some of these up on Com C and grabbed that shiny Mayas. That's probably one I'll send out in a care package at some point. Here's a nice Xander out of uh, 2017 Topps Heritage. This is just his uh, everyday base card, um, although he was a short print in 2017 Heritage, being numbered above number 400. So a nice uh, Xander SP there. That'll go right into my uh, player collection and Z folio of his. It's a beautiful hockey card here. I've shown a few now of these Upper Deck Masterpieces framed cards. Um, they have an actual frame uh, around the card. They did the set for baseball as well. Um, on the hockey side of the house, unfortunately, there was only one release uh, before Upper Deck abandoned the product. But a really nice Rick McLeish here from the powerhouse Broad Street Bullies Flyers teams of the 1970s. Love the artwork there. Really cool card. I'll, I'll grab those, um, any that I don't have when I find them at the right price, um, just because they're really stunning looking in hand. 
Uh, here's another shiny Xander. This is a Bowman Chrome, and it is the Blue Refractor Parallel. Not very difficult to tell. You got the blue tint around the edges there and the obvious refractor technology. This is a 2017 Bowman Chrome, and the blues, as they were most years, were numbered out of 150. So um, this is one that was like, again, between a dollar and a dollar fifty, and was just very low hanging fruit to kind of expand the Bogarts collection with a little bit uh, rarer serial numbered type stuff. So I love that. Um, this one might end up being my favorite card in today's video, just because I love vintage Bowman, uh, but scooped this uh, 52 Frank Baumholtz. Love it. I mean, th there is no such thing as an unattractive early 50s Bowman baseball card. And uh, someday I would love to own them all in my lifetime. I, I think that's Probably a very remote possibility, but I enjoy uh, kind of lapping up these cheap ones when I come across them. And uh, Frank Baumholtz was an example of that. Um, they're just gorgeous, gorgeous cards. Uh, here's one from my days of just plucking uh, serial numbered Red Sox parallels at random off the site. A Bowman Dustin Pedroia fan favorite. And again, being a blue, this one is not chrome like the Bogarts, but is uh, still a Bowman from the same year as the Bogarts and is numbered out of 150. Pretty cool. Got a decent little Pedroia collection just because I player collect. Well, I didn't player collect them, but I team collected the Red Sox for so many years, and he was a prominent player on the roster. So ended up with a lot of Dustin's cardboard. Um, here's another one in the series that I've shown a few times now. The Upper Deck Dinosaurs 3D inserts from 2015. This is Argentinosaurus with a nice volcano background there. Just a cool card. I love these inserts. 42 cards in the set, and I think I'm getting very close to having that completed at this point. And I think I've grabbed just about every one of them off of Com C to date. There's another Xander, and this is another set that I've shown before, the Donruss Optic release from 2017 that borrows its design from 90 Donruss Baseball, but makes them gloriously shiny. Doesn't even bother me that these are not licensed. Love these cards. And this one is serial numbered out of 99. So uh, nice bogey there that's numbered under 100. Some solid contributions to the uh, Xander Z folio from today's video. Uh, here's a nice basketball card. I've been grabbing these 71 tops basketball because at one point before the pandemic, I was deluding myself into thinking that I'd complete this set someday. Um, I'm not sure that's a distinct possibility any longer, but did grab a bunch of these, and I believe Paul Silas might be in the Hall of Fame. Um, somebody can make fun of me in the comments if I'm off on that. I am not a basketball fan at all. Uh, my basketball knowledge is very, very weak. Uh, the worst of any of the major sports. Um, but still, nice card either way there for the Suns. And one towards, I guess, a set accumulation, we'll call it. Speaking of which, here's a 57 tops Dean Stone for my hometown Boston Red Sox. A set that, uh, sure, I'd love to complete someday, but given how many other things are in front of it on the priority list, I think it's a long shot, but I will pick up good condition uh, singles, especially Red Sox and star players or cool photos, and uh, this is an example of that. And then the very last, oh no, I'm sorry, we got a couple cards left here, three to go. Here's the last uh, Bogarts in today's video, and it is another serial numbered card. This is out of Topps High Tech. And it is the green, so these are all acetate, obviously, and the green are numbered. It's a little hard to make out in the upper right, but numbered out of 99 copies. So another bogey out of 99 for the uh, ever-expanding player collection. And uh, I think I'm up over, I'm definitely up over 300 unique Bogarts cards now, many of them kind of rarer or serial numbered, and uh, just continuing to look for opportunity to add to that. PC, even though he may or may not be with the Red Sox long term here, depending on what happens in the off season, we got two shiny cards to close it out. Out of uh, 2020 Topps Chrome Sapphire Update is a nice Miggy. Been trying to pick up some cheaper Cabrera cards recently. I, I sort of ignored him over the years um, prior to the past year or so. Not that I didn't think he was tremendously talented, but just because you can't focus on everyone, and I was kind of busy buying. Uh, Mike Trout and Xander Bogarts and Juan Soto and others. So I'm trying to uh, get a few Cabreras in the collection and uh, love Topps Chrome Sapphire. And this was like a dollar or less, which is crazy to me. 
And then uh, the last card in the video, I've uh, shown a few other iterations of this one recently, and it is Rafi Devers' second year Topps Chrome from 2019. Um, was very pleased when diving through the Com C box to find this one. One of the benefits of letting your Com C cards, I guess, sit in a big monster box and then processing them much later is uh, I sometimes forget what I've actually got and uh, did not recall having picked this one up. Um, I believe I'll have to go back and check the price, but I, I'm betting that I got this for just a dollar or two um, because it was a year or two back now, I think, based on where it was in the box. And uh, recently have been setting my sights on acquiring uh, more versions of this very card. Um, had shown some others in a recent video, um, but did not pick up the X-Fractor at that time because it's a little bit pricier than uh, some of the parallels that I did show off. So pleasant surprise finding that one. And uh, that is a wrap on 20 random cards from Com C. Uh, I think I'm improving. I did better than usual with time here at 11 minutes. So just over 30 seconds per card. I will take that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the variety in today's video and saw something that interested you. And uh, whether or not that's the case, I will certainly be back in the near future with some more sports card content. Until then, take care.